This video gives you guidance on techniques you could use when completing your answers to help maximise your marks. We'll be focusing on your use of the response options, namely the word processor, spreadsheet and slides. You should use the spreadsheet functionality for all calculations in the exam. Here, task 1A2 requires a performance evaluation of DCS Company from an integrated reporting perspective, and Exhibit 4 gives spreadsheet data that can be copied into the spreadsheet response option for you to analyse. It's important that your calculations are laid out in a logical way and are clearly labelled so they're as easy to mark as possible. This will also give you the best chance of securing follow-up marks where you make an error in your workings. So do add appropriate headings and text rather than just figures, but keep everything concise and ensure your full narrative responses are entered into the word processor. It's vital that you reference your calculations in these narrative responses and clearly labelling your spreadsheet will enable you to do this effectively. Now we'll move on to how to complete your written answers. Please use subheadings within your answer. These should reflect the individual task requirements that you've already identified. Subheadings will also help you organise, structure and prioritise your points. Given that their purpose is to provide clarity, keep the formatting simple. Bold is enough. You don't need to add underlining or italics. All of this helps the marker understand the points you're making and increases the chances of you gaining marks. In the strategic professional exams, you're creating professional answers which the marker must be able to understand in order to award marks. But don't waste time on spelling and grammar checks. And note, there is no autocorrect or spell check available in the exam environment. However, do spend time going back to the task requirement frequently to make sure you're actually answering the question that has been set. Also, make sure that you consider the relevant professional skill that is being examined and ensure this is reflected in your answer. And pay careful attention to any additional narrative within the tasks. This will provide important context and help you shape the tone of your answer. You may be asked to prepare presentation slides and supporting notes, as you can see in task 1c. You should use the slides response option for this type of task. Note that there are separate areas for the slide information and the speaker notes. Aside from the use of the spreadsheet, word processor and slides, try to manage your workspace effectively. Don't have too many windows open at once. They'll clutter your screen and could make it harder to focus. Remember that if you've carried out your planning effectively, you'll have the main points from the exhibits already in the word processor, so there's no need to keep exhibit windows open all the time. But obviously this shouldn't stop you from referring to them if you need to. And finally, remember, practising answering questions to time in the exam environment and then debriefing your answers thoroughly is absolutely critical to exam success. Good luck!